I couldn't agree more. Thank you for having me here. I, truly an honor, truly an honor. And listening to so many of the responses of the panel, I too, as Pastor uh, said, we're learning so much. And to be with like-minded people, can you imagine? I was just sharing with somebody, you know, the, we know in Genesis, the tower was built because everybody had one mind. Everybody had one purpose and they almost built that thing to heaven. We can build something big when we all come together and are like-minded. God commands a blessing where there's unity. Truth and Love Ministry, I was listening to our brother up here preaching fire from the pulpit a few minutes ago. I was about ready to get up behind you and amen you. That was awesome. And you said, what propelled your ministry? And I immediately started thinking of Truth and Love Ministry International, which I founded over 10 years ago, but prior to that, when I was in, I was about 23 years old, I took my first trip into South Sudan into a no-fly zone. And from that point, I ended up in, just after the Congolese and the Rwanda genocide. And here I was out, <coughs> on, on, out, out in the mission field, what are you doing with me, Lord? And I began to see what was happening with leaders, that leaders were serving and leaders were leading their families, and leaders were sacrificing, and leaders were coming into <clears throat> spiritual warfare and spiritual attacks, and they too were going under. And from there, Truth and Love Ministry was founded, and I began to understand that leaders need help. Leaders need someone that they can turn to, and that they, with confidence and, and privacy, and that's why Truth and Love Ministry is a nonprofit. We are not a building. And people will ask my husband, you know, Mr. Unbreakable over there, you're all safe in this place, just so you know. Um, <laughs> FYI, everybody's safe. You know, yeah, most loving pastor you'll ever meet on this planet, but extremely loyal. But, the, you know, the point is, we have got to come together with the leaders. They're facing addiction themselves. We deal, thank you for that. I deal with a lot of leaders privately, and in the UK and in the US, so you know we're not on the same time zone. How many of you know addiction doesn't rear its ugly head from the hours of nine in the morning till two in the afternoon? There is no time zone. And so leaders are finding themselves medicated, having se severe mental issues themselves while they're trying to save the church. And that's where Truth and Love Ministry comes in is because I too, was molested at a very young age, then I was raped, then I was thrown out of speeding cars, all of those wonderful things that so many of the panel discussed, it's trauma, you discussed it, get at the root. We can pull the weed from the top, but the root system is still thriving underneath the soil. We gotta get underneath the soil and pull that root out and expose it to the light. But that's a very difficult thing because then all of us have to face why we're addicted and what we're addicted to and why we're running to that. We just all know of a pastor of a mega church in California where my husband and I just came from and he committed suicide. That should make us all pause and cry. A leader that ran suicide prevention in the church took his own life. Something's wrong and there are answers to this and I want to tell you, leaders, we've got to come together where we can trust each other and we can share what's going on. And that's what this ministry does. Yeah. Equipping centers for the leaders and how to write, how to deal with somebody that's coming to you and they're on meth, they're on crack, they're addicted to alcohol. It's pharmacia, you guys. We were, a lot of us are believers in here. It's a spirit. And you have to know how to deal with it. And not everything is just across the board. It's not one size fit all, and it's not one scripture fits all. If it was, take every thought captive and make it strong, make it obedient under Christ and bring that stronghold that if that worked in and of itself, how's that working for all of us? Something's missing. And it's getting to the root of the trauma. And I believe that we need to educate the pastors and the leaders, and we all need to come together. We prophesy in part, right? We know in part. So each of us in this room carries a piece. We carry a part. 
And if we can come together and bring those parts together, because it's not about one person's ministry. It's not about a kingdom. It's about saving souls. And everyone in this room has an answer. But we have to be able to have the life vest on ourselves before we can save the church and save the people. Amen? Amen. Amen. we got to save ourselves, too. So that's what Truth and Love Ministry That's just a portion of what our ministry does in a nutshell. But we are confidants to leaders so we can get at the root of what is traumatizing them as they're trying to save their church and their own families. Amen. Hi. <laughs> <laughs>